when I was 10 years old, I realized that I couldn't see objects that were far away clearly. So I went to the doctor and the doctor prescribed me spectacles. And I've been using a pair ever since. Now, if you don't use spectacles yourself, I'm pretty sure you'll know someone who does. But have you ever wondered about how spectacles work? Well, I have a setup here that might help us understand. The first thing we need to know is that spectacles are just a pair of lenses. And these two transparent pieces of plastic, they're lenses. And there are two main types of lenses. The first is a converging lens. Over here, I have a biconvex converging lens. Now look at what happens when I place it in the path of these rays. You see that? The rays hit the lens and then they get converged to a point. And hence the name, converging lens. The other type of lens is a diverging lens. And over here, I have a biconcave diverging lens. When the rays pass through the lens, they get diverged. If you look closely, you will notice that they look like they are emerging from a point behind the lens. Now, the human eye basically consists of two main parts. A biconvex converging lens, which we call the eye lens, and a screen, which we call the retina. So, let's try to simulate the human eye over here. So, let's say that this biconvex converging lens plays the role of our eye lens. Okay? And I have a screen over here that's going to play the role of our retina. If you look closely, this is what happens in the case of a healthy eye. The rays come off objects and then the eye lens converges those rays to a point on the retina. And therefore, this person sees a clear image. But then, sometimes there are defects. And the most common defect is called nearsightedness or myopia. In this case, the person can see objects that are close by clearly, but far away objects appear blurry. When this person looks at objects that are far off, those rays get converged to a point in front of the retina, like this. And therefore, he ends up seeing a blurry image. Now, this can happen for a variety of reasons. Maybe the eyeball itself is too large or there's some kind of issue with the eyelids. Now, how would you correct this? As you can see here, it's happening because the rays are getting converged a little too much. So, you need to negate that. One way to do that is to introduce a diverging lens. Now watch. Now here I have a biconcave diverging lens. Look at what happens when I place it in front of the eye lens. You see that? The moment I place the biconcave lens, the rays now intersect on the retina. Now, this is because the incoming rays are first diverged by the corrective lens and then the eye lens can further converge those rays onto the retina. So now, this person can see a clear image of those far-off objects. So this is why a person with nearsightedness requires spectacles with diverging lenses. So the other type of common defect is called farsightedness or hypermetropia. And this generally occurs when people get a little older. So what happens in this case is that when they see objects that are close by, they appear blurry and objects that are far off appear clear. Now, when you look at their eye, this is what happens. So when these people look at objects that are close by, those rays get converged to a point behind the retina. And therefore, this person ends up seeing a blurry image. Again, this can happen maybe because the eyeball itself is too small or maybe there's some problem with the eyelids. But how would you correct this? As you can see, the issue is happening because the rays are not getting converged enough. The eyelids requires a helping hand to converge the rays further. So therefore, we introduce a converging lens. So over here, I have a biconvex 
converging lens. Look at what happens. You see that? The moment I bring the lens, the rays now intersect on the retina. And this is happening because the incoming rays are first converged by the corrective lens and then the eye lens can further converge those rays onto the retina. And therefore, this person can now see a clear image of those objects that are close by. So this is why a person with farsightedness requires spectacles with converging lenses. Make your child fall in love with learning. Download Byju's, your personalized learning app.